Good morning, folks. How are you doing today? Michael Zuber with One Rental at a Time, and we were we are with Steve from Velocity Mortgage. How are you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. And yourself? I'm doing very well. You want to get that little marketing thing out of the way? Thank you very much. I was about to remind you uh, <laughs> again. Although I work for Velocity Mortgage Capital, all the uh, ideas and uh, uh, expressions uh, um, talked about on this show are, are those of mine and my own. There you we'll go. Get that out of the way. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, You're a publicly traded company. So, you know, we got to do these things. A lot of my experts are just like running their own deal. You are part of a public company. <laughs> so we got to make sure HR and marketing are, are happy. So that's cool. Hey, so our first Agreed. episode, um, I want to kind of educate the one rental at a time family on what they should be ready to bring to you, right? Because we, we are helping a lot of the one rental at a time group kind of get access to cheaper and bigger dollar amounts uh, by velocity. Right. But I'm afraid right now right. I've, I've just uh, kind of thrown a big wave of people at you, which you've been great at, at, <laughs> at handling them, but let's educate them a little I'm bit. I'm trying. You are. Yeah. Let's educate them a little bit more. What are the things that they should bring or have prepared for when they call you or email you? What, what are some th stuff they should have up front? Well, uh, I guess it really just comes down to uh, in what um, stages they're at, uh, mm -hmm. in a sense, because sometimes, um, you know, some of the listeners are just starting out and don't have a particular project uh, in mind. Mm -hmm. But at the very least, to kind of, you know, somewhat pre-qualify you individually as far as the bar first, and then uh, yeah. we'll talk about what type of projects and such. So typically speaking, I just need to know your mid-FICO score, okay. if you happen to know that. Uh, if you don't, you can usually just go to, you know, one of the credit bureaus, Experian or whatnot, and they could typically give you, you know, I think once a year, a free credit report. So it'll at least give you somewhat of a, a an idea of what, what range of uh, FICO score, because our rates are FICO driven. So mm -hmm. it, it'll allow me to at least give you an accurate quote. Uh, other than that, the property types that you're looking to invest in, because again, uh, terms, rates do change depending upon yeah. property types. Okay. Uh, other than that, uh, you know, an, an idea of the price range, yep. things of that nature. Um, and then basically, you know, just I was, we talked about on the last show, what's your strategy? What's the big picture? Because then that'll allow me to kind of understand, all right, well, if that's what your strategy is, here's what I would recommend and then kind of go from there. So it just really all depends on their current situation. You know, uh, if they're actually uh, in a project, if they're looking for, you know, uh, money to then uh, refinance out of the, mm -hmm. the, the private money that you're in, you know, it just kind of all varies. But typically just the FICO score, mm -hmm. uh, subject property address would be great, or at least maybe the city and state because we do have minimum population requirements, but that's pretty much all I'll need. Yeah. And a couple other things that I've heard. Um, oh, so you're not going to do owner occupied. We just want to hit that again, right? No. It's not where you play. Correct. Dodd Thank Frank. you so much. Yeah. Go, go to right. Matt, the mortgage guy, if you're in California for owner occupied, that's cool. But yeah, I, I think right. the other things I would tell, or I would ask my audience and followers to do is, you know, if you have experience, highlight that, right? Like if you've done a couple Definitely. of or something like that, because, uh, Correct. you know, the more that you have done, uh, the better. Not that not the fact that you've done zero, you can't get a loan. It's just realize correct a different risk for profile. I do think the correct. price ranges are important. Uh, a lot of folks may be thinking, you know, 75, 100, but we know there's a lot of people out there doing bigger deals, you know. Um, oh, yeah. We're going to talk, I think, in episode number three, just to tease it here about a, a $1.1 million flip uh, or at least purchase and then flipped at 1.6. So there are people doing bigger deals. So we'll talk about that. But for sure. And then again, I think you said it, but I want to say it again, is what's, what's the strategy, right? Are you buying a dump, fixing it up, and then your plans to refi out because you can get bank loans, but banks don't finance junk, right? What is the plan? Are you doing one rental at a time, buy and hold? Uh, are right. you doing the burr strategy? You know, what, what, is, what is really going on? The more that you can bring or email Steve, the more efficient it will be, and it will cut down on the back and forth for sure. Definitely. As much details initially will lessen the back and forth of all the questions that I would normally have. So uh, again, like I said, mid FICO score, uh, property address, if you have it, if not, maybe price range that yeah. you're looking at. So then we yeah. can kind of structure like a you know scenario, like, okay, here's what we're looking at down payment wise. What are you looking at? Possible rehab, stuff like that. So yeah, we, yeah. I can definitely talk yep, to any of your clients, but uh, that's typically the, the, the call. So they'll, they'll initially call in and I'll ask them what their strategy and then Sometimes the calls are five to 10 minutes. Sometimes they're an hour to two hours. So it just yeah. depends. 
Yeah. So again, folks, the more that you can prepare up for, and again, if you're just planning to get started, it's fine. He can help you pre-qualify and get ready. And as we've talked about in past programs, uh, and again, he has a playlist on this channel. You can see link below, plus his email is below. Um, yeah, yeah, down here somewhere. Uh, you can um, really get, you can really get a partner with a, with, with, a, I was almost going to say hard money, but that you're actually much cheaper than hard money no. with a lender, right. Right? with a non-QM lender. So that's a great way to put it, Mike. Is like, I mean, that's what we're trying to build is, you know, business relationships, because right. again, the only thing holding back your investors is the finance to yeah. get, you know, to be able to, to take down the project. So that's where we come in. And if you're a legitimate uh, investor and you kind of know what you're doing and, or just starting off. And so we want to help you kind of build to that point. Mm -hmm. That's, that's what we're here for, for sure. There you go. Very cool. Um, Steven, how do you want them to get a hold of you? Again, the link in your playlist is below, but let's put it on video. Yes, sir. Uh, S as in Steve, my last name, uh, spelled D as in David, A as in Apple, O as in, oh my God, he's so handsome, at <laughs> velocitymortgage.com. I love that. Oh my, my God. My last name is so short. It's only three letters. That's that's my little kind of thing. So they'll never forget. You know, They might forget the three-letter name, but the handsome guy. Yeah, yeah. I the handsome guy. There you go, buddy. I appreciate it. It's been a lot of fun.